Hi everybody, my name is Roman and it's Marketing Watch House and I'm coming back with a Google Ad Scripts tutorial and oh, you can't even imagine how much time I've spent on this because I usually work in Python and I usually develop some um, more bigger automation and I prefer to use the BigQuery but it's not um, and it's not available for everybody and it's it's even more complex so I decided to start with something you know more um, comfortable for everybody, something that you can actually implement sitting in your laptop in 15 minutes or one hour, one hour, something around this. And I also figured out that Google Ads Scripts is not very popular, for example, in the United States, which is very surprising for me. And I think we should actually fill this gap. So I've built a huge script today that is going, that is helping to analyze your keywords data on a weekly basis. For example, each Monday you wake up and you already have a report on your email address uh, in your inbox that these and these keywords spend too much or have too low quality score or for example the conversion um, cost per conversion is too high. And then I was decided okay it should not be so complex and difficult let's just start doing this that and finally I've spent about six hours on that just to figure out how everything works and what's everything doing with them. like it's it's really really it took me a lot of time to go through this and i actually wanted you to have a deeper look and understand all this stuff without spending so much so much time as i spent so what actually i found out that the final script is quite big and it just doesn't make sense to copy these paste and say hey just go this do this and that's done because all of us have different businesses and each business has different metrics and how it actually works and what you want to track. So instead of just making like throwing shit on the table, I, re I offer you just to go through this step by step and understand how it actually works. So let's construct this script together. Uh, it's going to be several videos. I'm try I will try to film this as fast as possible and today we're going to make a small introduction to AdWords um, Ads app and then try. I, I will try to make it and keep it simple. So let's start. If, if somebody haven't seen my videos before, I usually write JavaScript code in a Sublime editor and if you don't have Sublime and you have to, you are not allowed to use any paid software, I usually, I usually also recommend Notepad++. It's not as good as this one or Atom, for example. Also very good. Atom is a little bit too heavy for beginners and Notepad++ is not as cool as this one, but it's still very, very nice and easy to work with. Okay, let's start. Uh, first of all, we need to understand that every script we write has a main function and that's very important. So, uh, JavaScript. Yes, uh, func main function is actually expected by Google Ads to be there, so we are not allowed to rename it or something. So, what our main function is going to do? Let's start with the basics. Let's get the data for our account level. So what's account, click the rate for the account, what is average CPC for account, and what is average cost per conversion for account. To do that, first we need to understand uh, what is average click through rate? Is it for this week, for that week, or I don't know, for last 30 days? So we're making one variable on very top, time period. That is going to be one of the predefined values that Google Ads allows to use. So last 14 days is one of them, but you also can do this month or last month, also last um, 30 days. You also can use like uh, all time, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, this week, last week, but this week and last week are not very good time periods for analyzing like average data. It's much better for like tracking a day by day. And now we're trying to track something on a weekly basis. So to control our account on um, every Monday, for example. So account data is very simple to get. So what we do, we do account data. It's going to be our variable. And we need to use ads app. Ads app is actually a class, an object, like treat it like a service something that gives you some information and ads app have different 
um, properties inside. For example, you, you there are campaigns and there are also ad groups there and also keywords. So depending on what you set up there, you can get different level of reporting. For example, sometimes the keyword level is much more uh, appreciated, for example, if you have smaller account, but uh, in most of the cases, you use, usually use ad group or campaign. You also have probably seen my other videos, we usually do the campaign level there. So right now we're going to do current account because we're going to work with accounts, uh, average account metrics. And there is another function that setups get stats for, and this function will actually download data from the cloud to your JavaScript code. So we need to get stats for our time period that we define. And this, will, uh, oh, it, and this already gives us a huge possibility. So what we're going to do, we're going to create several variables for future use. TTL stands for total. For example, we're going to have total clicks. And it's very simple, account data dot get clicks. And then total impressions. Again, get impressions, total cost, count data, get cost, and then total conversions, conversions. Okay, now we need average values. Uh, here we're going to have total values. Average values are also available the same way, but I just wanted to make them have have them different to give them different naming. So averages and average CPA is actually total cost which we already have, divided by total conversions. Then average click-through rate is account data dot get click-through rate. Sorry, uh, get click-through rate. And I just have a misspell here. And then we do average CPC equals account data dot get CPC. One last thing I wanted to do, not, uh, not very useful for everybody, but I usually really need this. I need the currency of account. I wanted to make a, um, like a space because it's a string type and you will see very soon why I want to do that. Again, adds app because it's not inside the get stats. It's, uh, when you're going to try to get the account, it's not a property of a statistics. It's not a property of a report. It's a property of account itself. So we need to do current account again and then do get currency code, get currency code. And then uh, let's, let's just make, let's have a look on what's happening. And I think that would be enough for our first step. So it's going to be data and then, then we just need to make this data. So data equals um, empty string then data plus equal total clicks plus TTL clicks plus new line. Uh, we can't use a new line. Uh, what we actually can do is just to construct a very, let's, let's, let's do, you know what, let's do an array. Let's do it differently. Data is going to be an array. We're going to data push put something in array, total clicks, uh, space plus total clicks. And now it's going to be a very boring stuff because I need to copy this for all variables I've done. It's going to be impressions, cost, and then conversions. And then it's going to be average. And it's going to be CPA click-through rate, and CPC. Average CPA, average click-through rate, average CPC. I know it's kind of boring, but you know what? Doing these exercises is actually very, very useful when you're just starting programming. And one more thing, I'd love to see cost with the currency code. So I add currency at the very end. 
and I also want to see cost per action with the currency and CPC. Let's copy this, put it here, save, authorize. I think authorization usually fails for me from first try. But let's hope, let's hope it will work correctly. Please, looks like okay. So here we do report live. Let's do it big report live, save. And let's have a look what mistakes I have in my code. Okay, there is no get CPC. Um, there is no get CPC. It's because it's get average CPC. Get average CPC. Look, here we have the data. One more thing I wanted to fix is make it for i equals zero, i less than data donk length, i plus plus, and then we do logger dot data i. So we're going to have a lot of different rows. It's very simple, it's very fast. Uh, it's actually the simplest fast that was a report we're building, but I hope you understand the basics and I really want you to go step by step. So it's enough for the first video. Check out, subscribe to this channel, uh, leave your comments. If you don't understand something in this code or you have any other questions, just leave them in the comments. You can write me directly and I will answer or find a solution for you. And don't forget to check next video when we're actually going to get the keyword level report. Thank you and bye bye.